Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our new version of Google Chrome rolling out, version 131, which Google made available um, late yesterday, once again in my part of the world, on the 12th of November, 2024. So at first, to double check, we have the update. We head to our main menu, Help About Google Chrome. And latest version and build after the update has been applied is 131.0.6778.69 or 70 either or on Windows, Mac or Linux means you're up to date with version 131. Now, in this latest release, um, it's what I would consider to be a light release. Really, at its heart and core, it's a security update. And I have found lately that Google is pushing out a lot of the new features with um, point release updates or server-side updates. I'm not seeing too many front-facing features rolling out with the version upgrades, which is always interesting. And you may notice after upgrading, first of all, to version 131, you'll get a what's new, a tab that'll open telling you what's new. Now, that's pushing a lot of AR, and Google's saying a lot of the AR features are new. That is correct, but... Um, those AR features have been progressively rolling out over the last couple of months. So um, don't get confused. Those are not all available with version 131. And if you want more information regarding um, AR or um, AR rolling out as little features, you know, in different places in the browser, then just do a search on the channel. I have posted quite a lot of content. Now, first of all, um, focusing on the security fixes, we get 12 security fixes rolling out. And there's no critical and there's no zero days, which is always good news. And we only get one high severity uh, security flaw. And that's listed as inappropriate implementation in Blink, which is part of the um, Chromium engine. Okay, And then we get a couple of mediums and a couple of lows. So we can also expect now all the other Chromium-based web browsers um, except Firefox to get more or less the same security fixes throughout the course of this week. And while we are talking about other Chromium-based web browsers, um, we are also expecting a version upgrade for Brave this week, and we are also expecting a version upgrade for Edge this week. Now, that's the security side of things out of the way. And I was expecting um, some more toolbar um, options to become available that didn't roll out i've checked on both my devices so that that hasn't become available and um, google been very slow to push those new toolbar icons out as i've been talking about on the channel um, across the board and then just to focus on one or two little um under the hood f features i have pulled from the chrome platform status um, there are new css features and if you don't know what css features are basically it's a design language that's supposed to simplify the process of making web pages presentable and it determines the visual structure layout and aesthetics of those web pages so um, according to google they've improved the styling for details and summary elements um, apparently it'll also include a better emoji and more precise anchor positioning when you are on different websites. So seeing that this is a browser, that could be a nice move. And then we've also got some performance optimizations for smoother scrolling. And I can't really notice any major difference in the scrolling, but according to the Chrome platform status, that is a under the hood treatment. But guys, that's about it. Eh? There's nothing else really to report on with Chrome 131, a very light release. But just on a side note, um, this is actually the last stable release for Google Chrome for this year. Our next version, Chrome 132, rolls out in two months, according to the Chrome platform status, and that will make its debut as the early stable on the 8th of January next year, 2025. So version 131 is our last stable release for this year, so just keep that in mind. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.